Christ loved us and washed us clean of our sins by his blood and made us into a kingdom, priests for his God and Father. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. I'm with you, Spirit. Today we offer this for the special intentions of Shirley Ward. We ask God for his pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the glorification of your Christ, May your spirit, O oh Lord, imbue us powerfully with spiritual gifts, that we may, that Christ may give us, that the Spirit may give us a mind pleasing to you and graciously conform us to your will, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the earth, the truth, about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees. So he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. My, I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection, or angels, or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued. We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. God. Keep me safe, O oh Lord, you are my hope. Keep, Keep me safe, O oh Lord, God. you are my hope. Keep me, O oh Lord, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O oh Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You it is who hold fast, my Lord. Keep me safe, O oh Lord, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart extorts him. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, 
I shall not be disturbed. If you say, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the need of world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O Lord, you are my hope. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. May they all be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that the world may believe that you sent me, says the Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed. I pray not only for these, but for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. <clears throat> I wish that where I am they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have made, them known, made known to them your name, that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. Those words are pretty amazing. Jesus again prays that the love with which the Father has loved him, that that love would be with us. Um, scripture tells us that uh, God is love and that perfect love, which God is, cast out all fear. That is the key to uh, our responsorial psalm today uh, in, in, the, in the words that God also spoke uh, to, uh, to Paul. Responsorial psalm said, keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. It didn't simply say, keep me safe, O God, you give me hope. It says, no, you are my hope. You are my refuge. Uh, that, uh, and so, and that's exactly what Paul was experiencing as he was, uh, as the tension of, and the, the, the violence and resistance to him was growing greater and greater and greater to the point that literally, again, the, uh, the Roman leader feared that he would be torn in pieces. Uh, it was getting more and more intense and it says, and that night, you know, after all that drama and all that terror, it says the Lord visited him and simply said, take courage. For just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so also you must bear witness in Rome. So it's like, hang in there, keep going. But that phrase, take courage, uh, I always like to remind folks again that we know that the Holy Spirit, that one of the gifts of the Spirit is courage, it's fortitude. Uh, but just that, that word, that phrase, take courage, 
It's, uh, it's not just, you know, hang in there, you know, try your best. It says, no, take something. You have to do something. Take courage. Uh, where something that, because think about it, when, uh, you know, when we uh, lose courage, again, it's, it's uh, uh, you know, so let's say something happens, you're, you're feeling fine, and then something happens, you get some bad news, or your circumstances change, something, you can, you can, it can be, you know, that you're diagnosed with a virus, it could be that you lost your job, it can be that uh, you've had another health crisis, or a family member has died, it could be anything that we didn't expect, that uh, in our first reaction, again, it, it discourages us. It's almost like taking the wind of courage out of you. It's like you're, 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 you're in a place where you are filled with fear in a way that maybe you, didn't, you weren't feeling five minutes earlier. Uh, and the Lord says, don't just stay there. Take courage. Do something. And so the key to our courage is not simply, okay, I'm just going to try harder or think happy thoughts. No, the key is, you know, if, you know, if God is our hope and he is our refuge, that taking courage simply means reconnect with God. It means you know, to, to make an intentional effort, you know, to call on him. Because again, the reassurance, remember, throughout scripture, when scripture says, don't be afraid, fear not, it always gives the reason. The reason, so he says, fear not, I am with you. Do not be afraid, I am with you. That's the key, that there is no other source of courage. It's again, it's not positive thinking. It's, it's a deliberate action to remind myself. And so reading the scriptures, you know, I wonder, I was thinking when the scripture says that Paul, that, that Christ, he experienced, that, that the Lord came to him and said, uh, take courage. Many times I'm just reading the scriptures. Remember like Psalm 16 we read today. Keep me safe, O God, for you, in you I take refuge. Uh, Lord, you are uh, my hope. You know, I bless the Lord who gives me counsel. Uh, my soul, therefore, my heart is glad. Many times it's reading the scriptures and you stop and you listen and you realize that that particular verse was for you. Uh, take courage. You realize God is speaking to me. Well, how did you discover that at that moment? You took the time to read the scriptures. You took the time to go to Mass. You took the time to read the daily readings. You took the time to expose yourself. You put yourself in his presence. And maybe that's the point I'm saying. To consciously place myself in his presence is the key to finding courage in every circumstance. Let us bring for the Lord our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church throughout the world that she may go forth in the power of the Holy Spirit, spreading the good news of God's enduring presence and in your faithful love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We continue to pray for an end to this pandemic, ravishing our country and our world. Uh, we pray for an end to discouraging violence and war, uh, violence in our streets, in our homes, in our society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for uh, all of our sisters and brothers alike that are facing the necessities of life, especially those we take for granted, like food and shelter, employment, health care. Friends and family to support them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We continue to pray for our parish school, our faculty and staff, especially we pray for our, our, our graduates, especially in this extraordinary time of, of, of distancing, uh, that they may be filled with courage as they know, remind themselves of the presence of God with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the sick and the shut in, those in hospitals and nursing homes, those we, for whom we have promised to pray, and those who need our prayers the most. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our healthcare workers, uh, all those who minister to the sick, all those who take the greatest risks in serving them, that God may put a hedge of protection around them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for all those who have lost hope, those who have become discouraged, <clears throat> that uh, this day is, they may experience uh, the presence of God as Paul did, reminding them not to be afraid, to keep doing what is right, and to know that God is with them every step of the way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died, that they may share in the fullness of the banquet of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, we thank you for always hearing our prayers, those we have said aloud and those in the silence of our hearts. We ask them all with confidence, for we ask through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It shall become for us our spiritual drink. Let us pray that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome a past with joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, the clergy and the entire people your son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, for the blessed apostles and all the saints would please you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the church sing, Amen. Let the church say, Amen. Because he's worthy, amen, amen, amen. Let us pray and 
timid, tim timidity, not in fear, but with confident hope, with courage, in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Through your mercy, keep us free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy, you should enter into my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Jesus Christ, the Lord, and the I tell you the truth, it is for your good that I go, but if I do not go away, the paraclete will not come to you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray, enlighten us by the instruction they bring, and restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. He is Lord, He is Lord, He is risen from the dead, and He is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. 